Seven Seas Roasting, a local San Diego business, traveled to Ukraine last month to help a Ukrainian business owner with his finances. And joining us tonight is CEO and owner of Seven Seas Roasting, Eric Dobbs. Eric, thank you so much for being here. And first question we have, how did this journey begin? Thank you for having me. Uh, one of our uh, the bakers that we work with is from Ukraine. She started doing some fundraising while there were refugees in Tijuana. And uh, Chef Marco Mestoso, who we work with, he started delivering meals. We started to get involved at that capacity, and it just kind of grew from there. It grew. It grew a lot. You guys actually created T-shirts, and you created a special roast. Um, and 100% of all the proceeds then went to them. Um, you raised about $10,000. Right. So we, uh, I started to think about what are the ways I could have the most impact. And, and as I thought about it, I thought, well, uh, for us to keep it within my own industry, within coffee. So we, we found uh, a specialty coffee roaster in Kiev, which was the number one, voted number one coffee in Kiev three years in a row, and reach out to them. And, and they were in total disbelief. But as we started to talk, uh, while they were grateful for the funds that we were raising for them, they, they urged me to come visit and, and to actually see and, and be part of the story. That can was, that was can you hold up that t-shirt for us? Oh, we sure, saw yes. the coffee, but I want to make sure, sure that people at home see that. We, we printed uh, t-shirts and 100% of, of all the funds raised uh, mm -hmm. are going over to One Love Coffee in Kiev. So tell us about going there to Ukraine and then personally delivering this money. What, how was it received? What did they think? Oh, I think they were in disbelief until I actually arrived. So uh, to get there is, is very difficult as of right now. There are no flights going in or out of Ukraine. There, it's very difficult to find a train that's traveling through Ukraine right now. And uh, the only way I found was to go uh, fly into Europe, go into Poland, and then we found a bus that was going down into Ukraine. So it was about from San Diego to Kiev it was probably about a 56 hour journey. You know, a lot of people come together when they hear about a cause, and obviously a lot of people here were giving. Um, did you find that San Diegans were pretty generous when it came to that? Absolutely. So we did a couple of events with uh, Help Ukraine Now San Diego. Uh, we did some in Liberty Station. We have a coffee truck that goes out. We work with Oatly to, to uh, create drinks and menu items to, to raise funds as well. But it all, it, yes, in quite a, incredibly well, well received. You just talked about how long it took. It's a 56 hour journey at least getting there. Are you guys planning another visit there? And if you are, how can people help out? Uh, yes, so I hope it's under different circumstances. I think uh, for me personally, I think we took away probably more than we gave in, in this trip. So we, we established a friendship that will go beyond the war and, and, and into the future. So. Uh, but in the meantime, you know, it's become personal for us. So the funds that we raised, now when I see Ukraine in the news, I have friends and, and names and faces that I can place to, to, uh, to Kiev and Ukraine. So uh, yes, you can go online, you can order the coffee, you can order the shirts, uh, sevenseasroasting.com. And very quickly before you go, you know, obviously you talked about getting there and the difficulty to get from one place to the other. Talk about the experience, the people, like what were you seeing that we're not seeing here? So the economic impact is undeniable. Uh, they, uh, you know, a lot of people have left Ukraine. So as it, from one business to the other, I, I mean, they were closed and, and, and just kind of opened up their kitchen to support first aid workers, uh, military personnel, things like that. So the ec economic impact is very, very real. But uh, I mean, in Kiev, there's still air raid sirens probably on a daily basis, but uh, they're making do and, and you know, they're, they're uh, getting on it along as best they can. How, Resilience of the people is yeah, amazing. I was going to say that. And what, were you nervous? I mean, were you worried for your own safety while well, you were Well, you know, I, I calculated the risk as much as possible. We had uh, contacts on the ground, but I, I did uh, five combat tours with the Navy, so I, was, I tried to minimize the risk as much as possible, but, but the mission was so, so important to us that, that uh, yeah, it was absolutely worth any risk that we assessed. All right, excellent. Yeah. CEO and owner of Seven Seas Roasting, Eric Dobbs, thank you so much for joining tonight. We really appreciate that, and a pleasure speaking to you about what you did. It was so great hearing so about the stories, and of course, we will have all that information on our website so people can actually donate and give uh, fox5sandiego.com just click on our scene on fox5 tab eric thank you so, thank much. You so much we really